Okay, let's take a look at the brand new uh, trial that is available in the free tier. The, less, the first slide is it's going to tell you about the lesson objectives. If you're looking for any kind of teaching tips, you just click over that, hover over it, it'll give you some of the teaching tips. So what you're going to do is you'll screenshot the objectives on the next slide or the next page, and then you can send the screenshot to the parents so they have an idea of a lesson preview. So you can screenshot this, it's all there for you to send to the parents what they're going to be learning. And then we have the warm up. And then again, you just click over and hover over here and it tells you you're going to sing a song and then you have a scene for discussion where you and the students can talk about what the lesson will be about. So you have your song here, you can click your song, some things you can under to let you understand a little bit more about the embedded. It starts you have control of the volume, you can turn it down. Another thing for new students that I use a lot is I take this and I will do the playback speed just a little bit slower so that they can understand it better. And if you click on it again, hello, hello, it's a little bit slower and then I always leave the closed captions on. And then to make that bigger, you just click on it once and then you can click on it again and that'll stay, take it back down. So that's your warm up song. And then you have your image here that they can discuss and you can talk about. So you understand that they're going to be talking about getting on a bus, getting off a bus, where the students just ask a lot of open ended questions for them. Uh, the next one is our phonics and our phonics. We have a little bit of a story there for you and again the same tips apply if you think it's Ooh. too loud you Blue. can lower or higher the volume you can glue. make it full screen you can also make it slower but this glue. one glue is pretty slow and what I do is with something like this is I just stop it after each word have the students repeat the words then here you have your um, phonics slides. Again, they have a little bit of information on what you can do in this. And the good thing here is that if you click on these, they will tube. There is um, audio, so you can just click them. Mute. And have the Cute. students repeat them. And then you have a choice of which one you'd like to cover up and then uncover. You can cover and then uncover the word. So you click it once to cover it and click it again to uncover it because they do something like hide and seek, which works really well. Um, then you have the other set of words as well. And again, you're going to uh, play, you can play the audio cue. You can close the cards and you can close all three if you wanted, if it's a very highly intelligent child. Then we have an activity for you to assess how well they did. This is spelling, so by A2 they should be able to do some spelling. And again, you just click on it, it's going through it directly. And you just tube. 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 It also says it as well. Mule. Cute. So they can hear the words and then they can try to spell them. Then we have a vocabulary, the vocabulary, and again, these are your tips on how to do the vocabulary, what you should do with it, how to try to get them speaking in full sentences. And then we have the words here. And then you can also, it's the same as the other cards there, or they, you can just, sorry, you can just click on them to make them disappear and you can click on them again to make them reappear. So click the button below, it makes it disappear, and then click again to make it reappear. And then we have grammar, which are the sentence structures. They're going to fly in for you. Again, you just what click on them. What do you need to do? I need to pick up my clothes. So the audio is there for you. So then you have this with your grammar. Let's just slide through those quickly. Again, this is the second vocabulary set, so this is what else they're learning. And then they have the similar um, here. Again, they can click and hear the audio. Then we're going to move on to role play, and this is where the teacher and the student will be reading back and forth to each other. Again, there's some tips here for you. 
and then here there's the teacher student teacher student teacher student no audio is built in that you can do that yourself and then we have some extra questions so they're going to look at picture three and what do you do what do you need to do and then again picture one what does she need to do so they can talk about it and then there are the sentences there as well then we have role play two which is the same then you have a general revision to see and the students will read those the teacher will read and then the students will read them out loud and then once you finish that there is an activity the activity can assess if they're good at sentence order and jumbling it's a fun grammar activity and you'll know then if you should do it or not do it again and finally we have lesson feedback students can assess themselves over on the left by clicking and if you disagree and you want to give them something higher you can unclick it and click it again and then over here then we just write into the feedback and then you take a screenshot and you send it to the parents so I hope this is clear for you and this is the new trial that I've just added in so that everybody can use it and it cuts out a lot of the other things that might make the lesson a little bit longer. So this can be done in about a 20-25 minute range for one child or even groups.